Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Android One UI beta. Now, we have an update to the beta, so, so if you're running the Android One UI on your Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus in the United States, you might have received an update. So if I go to the settings over here, if I go to About Phone, and if I tap on Software Information, uh, you'll see this is the One UI uh, version 1.0. It's Android version 9, which is Android Pie and that's Samsung Experience 10 version, okay? And of course, we just got an update for this. And if I go to the gallery, I saved a screenshot of the actual beta notice, which is right here. And as you can see, they fixed a whole bunch of uh, bugs that was uh, present on the first beta, okay? So if, if, you, if I scroll over, uh, you'll see a long list. You can pause the video, you can read all these things. Alarm does not ring on scheduled time. So all these things are being fixed as they're preparing the beta uh, to become available to the public in its full version, most likely by January of 2019. But again, like I said, you can save the screenshot here and just read all the updates that they have done so far uh, to stabilize the system. Now, on top of fixing the bugs, uh, they have stabilized the system. It feels a little bit more responsive and more uh, smooth. But if you didn't know, uh, this is the Android One UI. It's gonna be Android Pie. It's gonna to come to your phones. Uh, as far as the United States is concerned, it's gonna happen sometime in January. And the whole idea of this new interface is uh, to bring downs to you so you can use the phone with one hand. So as you can see, the control center just drops down to the bottom. And if I go to the settings, I can pull the whole thing down to my level so I can use it with one hand if I'm holding the phone like this. Uh, if I go into a particular menu, it's going to initially look like the old one, but I can again pull this down and it's going to come down to my level. And of course, we have the uh, task switcher for the Android uh, version 9, which is Android Pie. And on top of that, if you look at these, it's very smooth, very snappy. And on the top, you have the icon of the app that you're looking at. You can always tap on that icon and get additional options, such as getting the app info, okay? or I can tap it again, I can tap this guy, I can tap on uh, open in split screen view, so I can do multitasking that way, so I can pick the next application. So now I have split screen. If I go back home, I can tap on X, that's gonna kill that. Uh, go back here, and again, uh, let's uh, just tap over here. Uh, open in pop-up view and lock this app. So if I tap on open in pop-up view, it's gonna give me that pop-up window, which is fantastic as well. And finally, if I go back in here, I can tap on lock this application, and that's going to lock that application. Now, I'm not sure exactly what's happening with this whole locking procedure. Uh, I'm sure they're going to fix it, but you're going to get the option to lock and unlock the application uh, from here. And of, course, if I, and of course, we have that really famous night mode option. If I go back to display, I got the night mode. Boom, everything is now black and white. It's easier on the eyes in the nighttime. So everything across the board is going to become uh, turned into the night mode. So that looks really, really nice. If you go to the settings, it's all night. If I go to any of these subsections, again, it's going to be uh, in the night mode option. I can tap here. Uh, you are going to be able to schedule the night mode as far as I know. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but if you do want to turn it on, it's going to be right here. And I bet you they're going to put it in the quick toggles uh, for easy access. Let's see if it's here already. I don't see it here. Let's swipe over. Uh, there it is. Night mode. Boom. Got the new night mode in the actual quick toggles. All right. So very smooth and snappy so far. Uh, of course, we're going to have a lot of bugs, uh, but that's usual with any beta software. So as we get more and more updates, uh, we're going to get smoother operation and the fixing of the bugs as, as it happened in this one. So that's the gallery and that's all the bugs that they fixed with this new update. I go up, we've got the refined apps. If I tap here, I still have all these options here uh, to play with, such as clean, cleaning up pages and stuff like that. But overall, everything just looks uh, more simple, more like Android Pie, and of course, with the new uh, task switcher. Now, in my last video, I went, uh, gave some details, but again, if I go back to display over here, let me show you a couple things here that you may have missed if you did not watch my previous video. Uh, if you scroll down, you can go to navigation bar, and from here, you can change the uh, look of the navigation uh, area over here. So I can either use the navigation buttons, which is uh, back, home, 
and the app switcher. I can change the button order, obviously. So back is going to go that way and the uh, app switcher is going to come here. So I like to keep it like this, but I can also tap on this one and this entire thing disappears. Now, the only way to go back home uh, is using the gestures. Now, in the first beta, you only had a single straight line. Now you have three lines, so it gives you the home button, recent apps, and the back button. So if I uh, pull this up, this just takes me home. If I pull this up, it brings up the apps. If I pull it up, it goes home. And of course, if I were in a, in a settings environment, and if I go back, let's just go back in this, like instead of tapping this, uh, let me go back there to navigation bar. I'm just going to swipe up. That takes me back. Okay, I like these three lines over here. Of course, again, this is beta, so they might modify the way this looks. Uh, but in the first beta, the original beta, you had a straight line. Now you got three little lines to show you have three options. Now, if I go to the navigation bar and if I switch it like this, this also switches. So now this is the back button, as you can see. And this is the apps button. Okay, so that's fully customizable. Whatever you do here reflects here and here. And you can see that little uh, preview to show you what's happening. All right, so let's go back out. And again, we had this, uh, the uh, control panel. We had a search button at the control panel that can allow you to search the entire phone. Uh, I can go back here to the settings. Oops, over here. I can tap this button here. And that allows me to change the button order if I want to. I can tap this, I can tap on the status bar, I can make changes to the status bar. So I can hide the battery percentage meter, enable it, show three recent apps over here on the top, or all notifications, that's going to fill the entire top status bar. So all these things have been added uh, to this uh, panel over here. And this most likely is just for the beta, so that's not a big deal. Uh, it launches the Samsung members application and wants you to uh, report the errors. Okay, So that's probably going to disappear in the actual smartphone. Also, if you look over here, if you go to the settings, they also change the device maintenance uh, screen to device care. So if you look at your S9 right now with Android 8, it says device maintenance, but they renamed that to device care. If you tap on it, you get the same functions. You get the battery, you got the storage, memory, and security. And if I were, if I were to go inside, the interface is a little bit different, but mostly you have access to the same functions as you can see uh, we have all the power modes right here. And if I tap this over here, I can go to the settings of that even. These are the settings for the uh, battery management. So you got the battery uh, power optimization, the charging uh, options, and the app power management functions over here. If I go back, I can go to the storage. Same thing, we got the storage. If you tap over here, you got the storage analysis, uh, which is something new. You're, gonna, you're not gonna see that on the S9 Plus. It gives you an analysis of your storage and then, of course, you have the uh, storage settings uh, from here, micro SD card, internal storage, a different look overall. So uh, the looks have definitely changed on these uh, new betas. And you can tap on update as well uh, to get the latest uh, 360 security database. Uh, if you do go over here, you have the security, which is malware. You can activate or uh, not activate at all. Let's go back home. And most of the settings that you have and love on your S9 and the S9 Plus for customization is still here. So if I press and hold, I can tap on home screen settings. You get all these options that are still here, uh, such as the quick open notification panel, portrait mode, uh, app icon badges. Everything is going to be here. Now this one here, I really like this. This one basically allows you, if I go down like this, it brings up the apps, down apps, up apps, okay, which is not very convenient. So I can go back here, I can tap on quick open notification. And now when I pull down, it brings down the actual uh, notification panel and the quick toggle screen, okay? If I do go to the phone application, it looks almost the same, just a little bit different. You see that the, the keypad, recents, contacts, and places are at the bottom now again, so you can access them with one hand, uh, instead of being on the top here. And again, if I were to go home, go to the messages, that's the messages application, everything is done here. So if you wanna access the contacts or go to conversations, you do it from here, okay? Again, easy to use with one hand. Let's look at some of the other applications. The calendar application looks exactly the same. Uh, you do have the plus at the bottom. Uh, they are gonna make some changes here. So let's look at the calculator app. If we have it, uh, looks like we don't have it. Let me search for it real quick. Calculator, oh. It's not here, okay? So it's beta, so it's not there. Uh, but if we do go to the camera, 
you've got this new swipe over setting. So hyperlapse, slow motion, super slow, video, photo, scene optimizer, live focus, all these things have been refined for easier uh, usage with one hand and just an easier usage overall. All right, so if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Uh, let me know if you got this second beta update for your Samsung One UI. And if not, just wait for it, it's, it's coming. Oh, and for those of you guys that are wondering, uh, here's the edge screen. It looks a little bit different. Most of the uh, functionalities are still there. It just, again, has a newer look, uh, which is gonna be consistent with the overall look for your, for your smartphone. But you can still edit everything. You can still customize the edge screen. So again, this is the edge screen customization panel. Go to your Samsung S9 or S9 Plus or the S8 Note 9 and take a look at how it looks different than what you're seeing here, all right? All right, so again, drop the comments down below. Subscribe to Saki Tech for more updates and I will see you in the next video. Have a fantastic day.